Hey y'all, I'm Ava from the Immerse team and I'm here today to show you how to use our two most highly requested features ever in Immerse, tracked keyboard and pass through. Seriously, we have gotten so many requests, so we are so excited to be finally pushing this out for y'all. Woo! Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube to stay up to date with all future Immerse Tips videos we release so that you can best use Immerse to be hyper-focused while you work. Keyboard tracking is actually super simple to set up, which allows you to take a physical keyboard and bring it into VR. First, you'll need to pair either your KA30 or your Apple Magic Keyboard to your Oculus headset using the Oculus menu. To pair a tracked keyboard, you'll want to go to Oculus Home Settings, then go to Devices, Bluetooth Pairing, Pair New Device. Then select the Bluetooth keyboard you want to pair, follow the pairing code instructions, and then go to Keyboard to select which tracked keyboard you want to use. You will then see your tracked keyboard appear in front of you, and there you go. You now have a fully tracked keyboard that you can take into Immersed. Let's get started with pass-through. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to open the Immersed main menu, select pass-through settings, and here you'll find all the controls that you need to best adjust pass-through to fit your needs. You'll notice there are three types of pass-through, full, portals, and keyboard. First, we'll take a look at keyboard pass-through. Keyboard pass-through is moved, resized, and toggled between a 2D and 3D shape, but it's designed to fit perfectly over your keyboard right off the bat. It can be turned on using the main keyboard button in pass-through settings, or from the drop-down options that appear when you hover over the keyboard button in the bottom nav bar of the immersed main menu. Next up, we have full pass-through. Full pass-through is where you're essentially turning your virtual immersed environment into a pass-through environment, so you can use immersed while seeing all your physical surroundings. To turn on full pass-through, you can either click this button in the main menu, or you can quickly toggle it on using the new full pass-through button in the quick actions. In full pass-through, you'll be able to see and interact with your screens, any immersed UI like the main menu or the quick actions, and the avatars of any other users who are in the same environment as you. You'll notice that your avatar hands are no longer visible since you can see your real hands in pass-through, but we've added fingertip markers to allow for easier interaction with screens and interfaces. You can also move around, just make sure that your headset's guardian is drawn to allow for movement within your space. Next up, we have portals. These are exactly what they sound like. Portals that show pass-through view from your environment or 360 photo. You can have up to five portals and you can activate or deactivate them individually using the numbered buttons. Each button corresponds to a portal or all at once using the portals button. Once you have a portal open, you can customize it for size, shape, and position. There are three base shapes of portals, which can be changed from 2D to 3D. The shapes are square, rectangle, and circle. To change from 2D to 3D, simply click the flat toggle button. Portals are moved and adjusted just like screens. You can resize and move them and pin them into place. Pinning also saves a portal's location. So if you want to create a portal over your desk and then you pin it into place, the next time you come into Immersed, it'll be exactly where you left it. Now that we've gone over the different types of pass-through, let's talk about how you can fine-tune your pass-through view. If you look below the main pass-through buttons, you'll notice controls for a few settings. The first is auto color settings. This will be on by default, but if you turn it off, you can manually adjust brightness and contrast. Next, we have edge rendering. Edge rendering creates colored outlines around the objects that you're seeing in pass-through, and it can be customized to fit your current color scheme in Immersed. Now, let's get into a few tips for how to best use pass-through. It's best to have all or nothing of an object in your pass-through view, so don't have half a coffee cup or half a notepad. Minimize spills and typos by keeping everything fully visible in your pass-through view. When in full pass-through, get creative with where you put your screens. You can have them on the wall, on your TV, or even on the ceiling. Portals don't just have to be for things on your desk. Try fitting a rectangular portal over your door frame so you can see anyone who walks into your room. Or you can create a portal to watch your pets. Get back into your pass-through portal, Carpet. Yes, my dog's name is Carpet. And my cat's name is Rug. <laughs> and that's it. If you have any questions regarding keyboard tracking, pass-through, or really anything else with Immersed, please go to immersed.com slash community where you can chat with me or anyone else on our team. And we'll respond to you in less than a minute. Maybe even less than three seconds on weekdays before 5 p.m. 
We'd really appreciate it if you would like this video if you found value in it. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to stay tuned for all future Immerse Tips videos. Until then, stay hyper-focused.